Finding great designs to create for your Etsy shop is only one of the steps you need to focus on when you are trying to make sales on Etsy. The other part of it is taking those things that are working well and redesigning that in your own space and doing it in a way that can save you time and energy so you can create multiple listings in one day. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you an easy way for you to actually redesign these products that can save you time. And at first you can upload as many as possible. I'm gonna share this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. So the main platform that we're gonna take a look at today is Kittle. The reason for this is that they have a large template selection so you can redesign these best-selling products in your own unique way and i believe anyway you can find a system that saves you time energy and money i think is the best route to go now if you want to check out kittle on your own they will so kind of give my audience a discount code for you to try this out on your own and to see if it is best for your on demand business i'll make sure to leave all the details down in my description box below all right so here we are in kittle and we definitely want to utilize the space to go ahead and create for ourselves a sweatshirt and we definitely want to utilize some great templates that they have here that we can actually create from so that our time designing can be as small as possible now from here i can head over to templates and just see what type of things they have here or if i already know the type of style i want to actually create from i can add that here so if i know i want to create a retro style t-shirt i can hit retro here and i can see some things coming up in regards to what we typed in and again this saves me time because i already have some text and already has some key design elements i can go ahead and utilize on my design that's going to save me time for instance here automatically i already see the retro style text here already in place and that you no know, retro background with that checker bar is already there as well again those two things are going to save me time when i am creating my products and i definitely want to redesign this to focus on the niche and bring in some more elements that's not visible here but again when you go ahead and utilize some of their templates it's going to save you so much time now the cool thing about utilizing kiddo is that if i see a design and another template that i want to use i can actually grab that same design from that template to utilize on another template as well so again when you mix different ones you can actually save more time in that regards as well for our example today i just want to click on this example here for a template because i think we can utilize some great things here and if i already see one that i know would do well for instance here we're coming into the easter time and if i see some ones that have these type of retro type flower designs i can go ahead and open this one as well because i definitely want to grab some elements from here to utilize all my other designs so here is an example product of something that is extremely simple that we see to work extremely well here it has the phrase or the term mama here with that checkerboard background and this is already doing well again 20 plus people in the cars and the sales are pretty good as well as i go and check this on everybody this product in the last two months has sold 65 times so not bad at all especially as we're getting closer to the mother's day season but i think we can do a lot more here by adding in some unique colors and of course adding in those retro type flowers we saw as well to work on other products like we found in our template so from here we definitely prove the level of demand there is an interest for this type of design here and we definitely want to add to what we already see to add in more value for our customers all right so for our design here we definitely just want to change this around and instead of us just having mama in one single text i think it will be good if we have the term mama in different type of text here so we have it up top i have it at the bottom or in the middle here and notice how when i change the words it's automatically fitting the exact word for overall template so i don't have to do any resizing or adjusting to my text everything is going to be dialed in place because it's following their unique text settings that i think will save you time as well so if i want to put in let's just say mother and you have a longer text than what we have with mama notice how it still fits here and i think that is great but in our case today we definitely want to stick with mama again and have mama go all the way down now being that we already changed the text i think this is great enough to sell but i want to change this a little bit more to add in some unique features instead of us having these retro type stars again we want to grab some more elements from another template and grab some flowers here to add to our overall design all right so here's that other template that we said we definitely want to grab here and i don't want to use any of these top portions here for this design but i definitely want to grab 
these retro stock type flowers here at the bottom now notice how they're all gathered together that's okay for right now because we're going to ungroup them when we merge them over into our other design so that being said now that i have all these together i want to right click i want to hit copy and go back over to my design that i have here and i want to right click again and i want to hit paste and i have that design here in the back and all i have to do is just make this large and now i have that available for us as well now, again, this is going to save us so much time because, again, I can just simply ungroup these, right click again, ungroup. And now I have all of these different type of flowers I can add to my design and to make our product stand out even more. Now, notice how when I bring this design over to this side of our text is in the background here. All I have to do to make this be in front of my design is hit right click again. And I want to bring all the way to the front. And now that is in front of our design. And I can resize this however I want to do that. I can change the orientation of this if I so choose. And now I added one more unique design elements to our project that I think will do extremely well. Now, one of the things I definitely want to do is to take out some of these retro stars that came with the original template because we're adding in these flowers. And I don't want to overcrowd my design space. But as I clicked on this retro type star, notice how it grouped all these things together. So this is where we'll go into right click again, ungroup. And now I can select those individual stars and just hit delete here so I can have some space to add in my retro type flowers. And all I have to do here is simply just bring over my retro type flowers here. And if I honestly have it already in place, I can hit control V or control C, control V. And now I have that same design here. I can change again, same thing here control c control v now i have that same thing in place as well that can change and fit to a different part of my design now one of the unique features with kittle as well is that if i do want to change a color of my text to fit the elements that i now introduce to my template all i have to do here is to select a text color i want to change so in our case today i definitely want to change the bottom here to this pink and so i want to head over to my text and I want to head over to text color and I want to grab the color pick tool, head over to the color I want to select, which is this pink here. And again, notice how that changed. If I want to select this darker pink here, we see right in the middle or that purple, I can head back over to my text, text color, pick tool again and head over right over to that purple as well. So in our case today, I think I want to stick with the pink that we have. Now, obviously I have my flower here right over the pink. So I definitely want to find another placement for that and bring over these type of colors here for overall design again control c control v and add in some more variations to that overall design space but i think we have a great example of what this can look like when we actually create this for a different product like our sweatshirt or t-shirt we can definitely utilize this design for both projects now one of the things you definitely want to make sure you do if you are utilizing a textured background is to make sure you go up to the top here and select clip content as this will make sure that the only areas that are distorted with that texture is the font and the elements on screen if you do not have this selected then it's telling the entire design area including the background to be textured and even if you have background removal turned on it'll still generate that texture in the background itself which we do not want so we definitely want to clip content just to make sure everything that we designed on this particular product here is going to utilize that texture now one of the helpful things about utilizing kiddo is that i can see what my design will look like right here in kiddo so i will head over to mockups and if i want to see how this will look on a t-shirt i have it available for us here i can actually go into different mock-ups with t-shirts and see what this will look like but for my design here i have it right in front of us and i can see what colors i need to, need to change or what text colors i need to add in here to make my product stand out but i think everything is good here so i can go in here and see more different mock-ups to utilize and i like utilizing this one here because i can see how this will look once it is printed out for my customer and if i know that i'm trying to target a specific color i definitely want to see what that color will look like in regards to the colors i have with my text or my elements so so if i need to make any changes in regards to that i can make those changes here for for instance, if I'm selling a black t-shirt and obviously I definitely want to change the texture, you know, uh, checkerboard color or the mama here, that's a little darker. But in our case today, I think sticking with a white t-shirt is best. But again, any changes I need to make, all I have to do here is head over to back to editor. I can make those changes right here in Kindle. Now, if everything is set in place, all I have to do here is go to download. And I want to make sure that I go all the way down to the bottom here, which I'll make my screen a little bit more smaller so we can see this. 
and I want to remove the background here, optimize quality and go ahead and hit download. This will save as a, as a PNG. I know I can increase my pixel count here that can fit great for my overall design. So I changed my pixel count and I think everything is great here for us to sell on a sweatshirt or t-shirt. I can go ahead and hit download. And now I have a file I can utilize on Printify or whatever print on demand software that I have to actually upload my design and start selling this t-shirt or sweatshirt product. All right, and here is our final design uploaded on our mock-up. And I think this looks extremely well. And so we definitely want to find those top trends, integrate that over into Kittle templates and redesign this in our own unique way to bring in some really unique styles to a design niche that we can start selling on Etsy. So as you can see here, utilizing Kittle to recreate these top trending designs is really easy to do. Once you find different templates you can grab from and pull from to redesign these products in your own unique way. Now, if you're new to anything print on demand and you're not sure of how to get started, I have created a free Etsy print on demand guide that would teach you from start to finish how to start your Etsy shop and get your first listing up for sale on Etsy. If you want to check out my free course, check out my link down below. And if you want to learn how to make income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay and I will see you in the next video.